That doesn't even look like a 100 pounder, does it? Cyrus Bain with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is referring to the 100 pound bombs that were dropped here on Plum Tree Island during bombing practice conducted by the Air Force extensively between 1917 and 1959. Plum Tree Island sits on the banks of the Chesapeake Bay, separated only by a marsh from Pocosin and within sight of Langley Air Force Base. It is now a wildlife refuge close to the public, but people do come here, either ignoring the warning signs or not seeing them. We have heard from some of the folks who've lived here a long time who have admitted to coming on the refuge and, and said, you know, they don't, they don't see the danger. They said, we've been doing this for, you know, 20, 30, 40 years and we haven't gotten blown up yet. Yet three teenage boys were blown up here in 1958 and almost died. One lost a leg, another an eye, and a third his hearing in one ear. Nearly half a century later, the military hasn't removed a single unexploded bomb or rocket from the range. Some warning signs have been put up, and mariners are banned from fishing or crabbing near the island. The danger is also noted on nautical charts, but watermen come here anyway. And that danger only grows with time as the bombs slowly rust away. Well, it's a fragment right there. Well, the main concern is, is what, we're, what we don't know. You know, if we, if we knew for sure where things were and could plan around that, that would be one thing. And some of this stuff even gets more dangerous as it ages because it becomes less stable. Just as the bombs become less stable, so can signs posted to warn potential beachgoers and boaters of danger. Most of those signs, I think, are probably still here, but as we've seen today, a lot of them, because of the wind and the the dynamic nature of this area have uh, have become disengaged and some are leaning. So it's going to be a real challenge to keep that posting in place. Only now is the military actively investigating the extent of the danger and trying to find out just where the bombs and rockets are located. It's the first step in a lengthy process to decide what, if anything, can be done here. Removing unstable, deteriorating bombs is extremely dangerous. Who knows what 90 years of storms and hurricanes have exposed or will in the future. This is such a, a dynamic system. You know, a, a barrier beach like this is probably one of the more dynamic places on the earth. You know, you can see the wind is flowing, the sand's constantly shifting, you get tides coming in, and, and this, this place is always changing. Bombs are not our forte. Uh, but the people who are experts with, with unexploded and even stuff that goes back as far as the Civil War tell us that there is still danger out here and some of this stuff even gets more dangerous. For DailyPress.com, I'm Holly O'Neill.